hi guys welcome back to my channel as you already know this is betty owner and creator of betty's custom designs here on youtube etsy facebook and instagram so i figured i would just bring you guys along um i was watching um natasha with um treasure books and she was using up some pieces of paper, thin paper that wouldn't really work as a page in her journals. And she was making like uh, some little, almost like a seed top envelope. So I figured that's what we will do today. Um, I don't know how long the video will be because these appear to be fairly simple. Now you guys know how I am. That doesn't mean that it's going to be simple. Um, so the first thing I am going to do is get my good scissors here. And I probably should get my paper cutter out. But I'm just gonna cut this. Um, you don't have to measure. And so it's a good way to use up some of your bigger pieces of scraps, but the stuff that still scraps, you know, all the same. And so I am just going to take this and I'm gonna fold it about a half an inch. Um, over the other side here so that's going to end up being the width of my pocket right here okay and so I'm just folding that um, now you can cut the top because it's too long um, but I think I may end up doing like uh, Natasha did because it looked really good let me grab my my bone folders here. Um, when what she done was she actually tore the top, and it looked. I love the shabby chicness of it, so that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of just tear the top there. Now, on this back, um, what we need to do is just glue this little area, this little strip right here. Um, you can use a glue stick, you can use your wet white glue, you can use anything like that. Um, I'm just using my Fabri-Tac because it's what I always have right here readily available to me. So that's why I'm using that, but there is just, there's so much more that you can use. Uh, you could even use score tape, I'm sure. Okay, so we have that. Now, I'm just going to let it dry for just a second. Now, what I want to do is I want to fold up about a half an inch towards the back because that's going to give me the bottom of my pocket, okay? But what I need to do is now that I've got it folded, is I just need to crease that down so I'll have a nice um, creased bottom there. Then I'm just gonna take, and I am just going to um, angle the corners. Okay. Now, you can fold it up like this, but you see what happens when you do. Um, and then you would have to glue this part down and glue this part down. So I'm just going to do the same thing she did, which is I'm going to fold my front flap up so I don't cut it because I will do that. And then I'm just going to cut that back flap off. Uh, you do not have to be precise because this is going to fold up and it's going to hide it. Now, one thing I am going to do before I go any further is I'm going to go ahead and ink it up a little bit because I even want this little area inked. Um, you do not have to ink. Uh, that is something, again, it is a personal preference. Um, so you just do whatever feels good to you. Um, some people do not like to ink, and I absolutely respect that. But I love to ink, and I love to get myself all inky, obviously, because I normally do. All right, so now we are just going to glue this flap down. Um, and yeah... My glue is like trying to stop up on me. Okay, 
and our pocket is actually done. I mean, and you see how long that took. It took literally just a couple of minutes and the actual pocket itself is done. Um, but I think we can probably embellish it some. Oh, I forgot about this stuff right here. This is some of my new stuff that came that's in my Etsy store right now. These are actually stickers, but look at the cool little CD sleeve they came in. I will be doing something with those. And then these are some of my digitals, some of which are not even in the store yet. So we might use some of these. I'm just looking to see what I have that might look good. Hmm, some of those might look good. And these might look good. I don't know. This is where my problem comes in is because I like it all. And I want to use every bit of it. And that's when I start having the problems. Okay, I'm gonna set this stuff to the side. Now, what we can do, I think I might use one of the um, butterfly stamps. So we're going to need something to go behind, behind it so it doesn't look as washed out. And with all of the book paper, paper that I have, I have none here at my desk. I have this, we'll use that. Okay. Now I do have a brother scanning cut that I could use, um, but it is busy cutting out some of the flower in bloom die cuts, whatever you call those. I'm just looking for my smaller scissors. I have so many scissors. And you would think that I would just use one of them, but. Okay, so which sticker do we want to use our stamp? Hmm, see guys, this is where I have the problems. Is because I just cannot make my mind up. So let's just cut one out and be done with it. Let's just go with this one right here, and I'm just going to use these and just cut it a little bit. And I hope I'm staying in frame because I have a bad habit of pulling the stuff close to me so I can actually see, and then I realize that I'm not in frame. Okay. So I'll cut that. Oh, yeah, that'll look good. Then, let's see, maybe we'll do a piece of this, and maybe a piece of this, and let's see what kind of lace I have right here. I don't have any flat lace, I don't think. I do have this piece of ribbon that might look good. And bring out a little bit of green. I think it will. Okay, so let's just do that. I am going to ink my stamp because I cut it and you can see a bunch of white and then I'm going to ink up these little pieces of paper and you can do this with any scraps that you have. It doesn't have to be cardstock. It doesn't have to be thick um, because it's not going to be a paper. You know, it's not going to be a standalone page or anything like that in your journals. So you can absolutely um, use anything. And let's see. Let's cut a little piece of this ribbon here. I'm trying to do it without cutting my finger off. Because I'm bad about that. I'm always cutting my finger or, I don't know. You would think I would know where my fingers are at, but I never do. 
I think I like that. So we're just going to glue it down like that. And then we'll figure out if we want to put something in the pocket. And again, with this just being paper to paper, you can use just about any glue um, on this part of it. But I'm just sticking with my Fabri-Tac. It just makes it easier on me. And this piece of music paper is so old. Oh my goodness, it's so old and it's so brittle. So I have to be very careful when I'm using it. And then I'm just going to glue this little ribbon down right in the middle. Just like that. And then I'm gonna glue my stamp down. And I want to make sure I got it up the right way <laughs> because I would be the one to put it on upside down. All right, so that pocket is actually done. Um, now what we could do, we could actually, let's put a journal card in it. Let's see if I can cut it straight with this thing here. You never know with me. Some days I can cut very straight with this, and then other days I would have been just as good to just try to cut it by hand. So it just, I don't know. I guess it just all depends on how I hold my tongue or mouth or something. Because you never know. And that was, was actually decent, so I'm happy about that. Now let's see if I can do this one. And I am so dangerous with these things. Look, I got a super wide edge on that side. Jeez. You know what? I'm going to set this down and I'm going to get my old dull regular paper cutter. This one is so dull because I use this one to cut my, um, my uh, chipboard. And I've got new, um, new blades for it, but I just... I don't know, I just haven't put them on. And I realize I am slightly out of screen cutting this, but all I'm doing is just cutting. I'm gonna cut the white off of that, but all I'm doing is just cutting the white area off of these little library cards. And I just done these today, and this is why I always print stuff out. Um, you see I have a lot of off prints a lot of times, and this is why, because on the screen, it showed that these were um, three by five, which is the size I wanted them. Um, but obviously they are not three by five. And I am okay with them being this size, but you know, if I post, if I list them on Etsy and I put that they're three by five, I need them to be three by five. So I will have to tweak this one a little bit more, which is not a problem. I can do that. So I'm just cutting one or two more out to make sure that I have um, one that is actually cut halfway square since I did booger that one those up and like I said I had the scan and cut and I could use it but it is in use it's cutting a bunch of stuff out right now and we are almost done with these Okay. And we're going to call those good. And I'm going to set this out of the way. Let me kind of straighten that up a little bit. Now, let's see. I hope these are long enough for this little pocket. They actually are. Look at that. How cute would that be in a journal? Let's ink this up and I will show you. I have my big 
fat alligator mouth idea journal down here. And I am going to leave the corner square on this because it is supposed to be mimicking a library card. So I'm just gonna leave them just like they are. And I could put stuff on here if I wanted to, but honestly, I like it just like that. Um, so, here is my big fat journal. And let's see if I have somewhere in here I could put this. So I could either, I could do a couple of different things. I could glue this down onto the page of a journal, of the journal, or I could clip it on the side. So again, that's totally up to you as to how you put this in your journal. Um, either way, it's not gonna make a difference. It's just, again, it's personal preference. Um, I could clip it on at the top. I could clip it on at the side. I could even um, tuck it down into um, a belly band. Um, just, you know, being careful with the ribbon there. I could, um, tuck it into a pocket of one of my journals. Um, and you know, I have lots of pockets in my journals. So there's so much that I could do. Um, let me see, what's holding, what is this holding on? That's not real, oh, it's holding that tag on. So I'm holding the tag on on this side. I could even take and come over here on this side and use that same paper clip and just clip that on, which is, I believe that's what I am going to do. I am just going to leave that in my little idea journal, just like that. So there we go. So let's see if we got time to do one more. Let me take this out because I will want to do a photo. All right, let's see. Maybe we have time for one more. If I can clean up some of this mess. I cannot stand it when my desk gets messy like this it just oh but when you're crafting sometimes you can't help but it you know get messy so now this is some paper uh from one of my, i think it was like a william morris kit but you know what i don't know that i want something quite that bold um, let's just go with this sheet of coffee dyed paper. And again, I am just not measuring. I am just going to cut a piece out. And this may be a little smaller because it looks like I cut it smaller, but that is okay. And again, I am just going to fold my... Um, ends over or attempt to and I just want it to be where I have just a little bit of space uh, the one side covering the other um, that's all I need just a little bit yeah this one's going to be a much smaller envelope but that's fine this is more like the size of the um, little seed envelopes that I have been using um, when I include the little gifts in your Etsy orders. So, all right, so now let's glue this little spot right here. Well, you know what, let's go ahead and tear the top off before I glue it, just so it makes it a little easier to tear. Okay. Now I'm just going to glue this right down through there. And that's all I'm doing right there. And then while that is drying, let's go ahead and ink it just a little bit. Get some of that stuff out of the way. It's killing me. All right, so now we'll just ink this up some. And then I'll ink the flap after I fold it, but that'll just make me be patient while the, the glue is drying really quickly. And I love the way the um, ink edges look on the um, torn paper like that. I love it. 
It's just beautiful to me. And I'm even just gonna, you know, rub my rub my little ink pad like that. Oh, look how that's looking. I love it. Okay. So now let's go ahead and fold it. Remember, we're gonna fold it up along the back. And then we are going to burnish it down really good. And then we're gonna cut the corners. This is the only time I'm gonna tell you that cutting corners is good. <laughs> And then we will take that flap, maybe. Ah, looks like I about glued the thing shut. Y'all see that? How did I do that? I mean, it's down at the bottom, so I don't guess it matters. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this little spot off right here. And then I am going to put a little ink on here. Just because I like the way it looks. And now I'm going to glue this down. There. And as you can see, we have another little pocket. Now, one thing we can do, these are some of the circles from, what, what did I make? Oh, the specimen cards. These are um, some of the circles I cut out whenever I was doing the little specimen card. So we may as well use these. Um, Melina had done a challenge here, and I don't know what side, so I'm going to do them both. But Melina had done a challenge here um, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know. I'm not good with time. Um, where she done the circle clusters. So I think we may just kind of do something along those lines. And again, we're just going to add maybe a piece of um, music paper there. Ugh. See how brittle this is? And then those are stickers. I think I have some little paper stuff over here that is not stickers. Let's see. But you know what I can do? I could actually use, I don't want to do the round on the round. I dropped my mic, guys. Just yanked it right off my, um, let's use. See what one of these might look like. Let's go with 23. Yeah. Monday is my 23rd birthday. Again. <laughs> Y'all know I'm 23. I've been 23 for a while now, so it just makes it easier when I tell people how old I am. I don't have to, you know, guess or try and do the math. I just, you know, I'm 23. So now these, I am just, just kind of fussy cutting around this label. Um, again, I could have put these on the scan and cut, but I was being a little lazy. Okay, I was being a lot lazy to be quite honest with you. Oh, which reminds me. Okay, how many of you guys uh, was able to enjoy the sale that I had in my Etsy store? It went from Saturday until Monday, I think it was. And I called it my good mood sale. And I told you guys in on the um, my Etsy page, I said that I would let you know why I was in a good mood. 
So now I need to let you know why I'm in a good mood. I have accepted another position. I am leaving corrections. Um, my last physical day in the office will be Monday the 20th, my 23rd birthday. <laughs> that is my last physical day in the office. My last official day is um, the 24th. And I start work at the Department of Health on the 27th. So that's why I'm in a good mood and why I had the good mood sale. Because I am excited. Now, I am just trying to see how I want to layer this up. Ah, wow. What happens when you have horsies? Um, I think I like it there, but I am going to need some color on it. And we will figure out how to add some color. So I'm just going to glue this down. Because if I don't go ahead and glue it down, then I will keep putting it on several different ways. And I'll never be satisfied with it. And... So that's what I have to do, is I just have to glue it down. And it is a little more difficult trying to glue down lace with this big of holes, but you know what? We're getting it done. I think I may kind of squish it up a little bit. Just so it's not flat. And then we need to glue our music page down. that and I'm just going to hold that there for just a second and now we need to glue our label down just like that alright guys I think that's going to do it Come on, let me put some pressure on this because I didn't let it all dry before I started bulking it up. So you guys know how I am when it comes to just getting the stuff done. I'm like, I want it done now. And then, you know, we can just put, um, let me see if there's one of these that actually, we'll do this one just so that you guys can see what it looks like with something in it. All right, and we can just slide that one down in there. Look at that, how adorable. Ah, I love them. All right, guys, we're gonna call this a video. We're gonna call it done. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.